In this video, I will be reviewing the SD2, a Chinese vegetable cleaver from Shiba Shi. Hello guys, I'm Chef Panko and I used to work in a Japanese restaurant. Make sure to subscribe to know more about cooking and knives. Before we start with the review, I want to go over some disclosures. I bought this knife with my own money. No one sends them to me or paid me to use this knife or to make this video. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up since that will help the channel a lot. Now with the disclosures away, let's start by reviewing the Chinese vegetable cleaver from Shi Ba Shi. The cleaver from Shiba Shi is packaged in a thin, flimsy cardboard box. The knife is wrapped around bubble plastic. The protection is minimal, so you are relying on the protective outer material from the seller. The Shiba Shi vegetable cleaver is made from stainless steel called 4CR13. There is no cladding and the knife has a hazy mirror look. The hazy mirror look is very smooth and does not have a proper foot release, but more about how you can fix that later. The knife comes with an untreated wooden handle with a few grooves for added grip. The knife Rockwell hardness is specified with a Rockwell of 57. If used at home, you can get away with 2 to 3 months before needing a whetstone touch up if you regularly hone your knife with a honing rod. The core material is made from a stainless steel called 4CR13, and this steel type has excellent stain and rust resistant properties. The knife is very stiff and there is no notable flex during use. The 4CR13 steel is very sturdy and can handle a lot of beating without cracking or breaking. Keep in mind that this is a vegetable cleaver, while it is suitable for meat, you can't use it on bones or frozen food. The profile of the Shiba Shi cleaver has a gently curved belly in the middle. It is excellent for a forward slicing motion. The balance point of this knife is at the front. If you pinch grip at the blade or the curved cap, the knife will be front heavy, which you want for a cleaver style knife. The knife handle has a good design, but the wood itself is not treated and it is advisable to apply some mineral oil on the handle before use. The handle has a lovely curved cap where you can rest your thumb. The hidden wired fill tang adds extra durability on the knife handle, preventing the knife from coming loose. The polish on the spine and the choil are also nicely finished and not sharp at all. The knife hazy mirror finish is something you should remove. You can easily use a 1000 or 3000 grit stone to create a new scratch spot. You have to lay the knife flat on the stone and start grinding one third of the hazy layer away. The knife will not look as good, but you have a knife with an excellent food release property in return. The knife is lightweight and great for home cooks and professional cooks. The knife with a weight of 300 grams is also very light for a Chinese cleaver. The spine thickness is 2 millimeters. The knife with a weight of 300 grams is also very light for a Chinese cleaver. The spine thickness is 2 millimeters. The knife is suitable for both the professional cooks and home cooks. The knife is very sturdy and can take a beating from all sides without any problems. You can quickly transfer food with the blade and it also has an excellent knuckle guide and clearance. Shiba Shi also offers the F208 version, which I recommend over this knife. This knife is more used and intended as a beater knife. A knife you can be very rough with, but since the knife is almost priced the same as the F208, I can only recommend the F208 over the SD version. The F208 is superior in all fronts and feels more premium compared to the SD version. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or other opinions, leave them in the comment section below. If I helped you decide, please give this video a thumbs up since that will help the channel a lot. If you want to know more about cooking and knives, please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.